Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this period between 1952 and 1962, there was a lot of political change that happened in Egypt, especially after the 1952 revolution at that time. 1953, on 23rd of January 1953, uh, the Revolutionary Guard or the, uh, established what we call Hayat uh, Tahrir, the Liberation Council. And its slogan was Ittihad, Nizam, Amal, Union, System, and uh, Acts as well. Uh, then 1957, Abdel Nasser and his colleague tried to change this to another uh, uh, one political party called Al-Ittihad Al-Qami, which is the, the, the National Union, and this happened on the 3rd of November 1957. On 4th of July 1962, Abdel Nasser and his colleague established what we call it the Arab Socialist Union. So between 53 and 62, Abdel Nasser managed to abolish all the political party and the slogan was actually no political party after, after today, after the revolution came, only one political party, either the uh, Liberation Council or the National Union or the uh, Arab Socialist Union. And then came after that the socialist reform or the socialist law, or actually nationalization of all the wealth of the rich people in Egypt, whether they're on, on, on the agricultural side, industrial side, business side, everything. And what I have seen and observed during this time, the election, because there was only one political party, and during the 50s, during the time of at Had al Qam, which is the national union, uh, and one of the neighbors, uh, which was his sister, was a, a, a friend of my elder sister. Uh, his name was Musalhi, and he was contesting against some old man from uh, his name was Abdurrahman Banna. And all of us, because this young man was the hope of the children and the young people, and all of us were standing behind him. He won the election, of course, and he won the seat uh, uh, at that time. But he, his reward was to have a palace or to have one of the villas in, in Al Hilmi, because Al Hilmi at that time was full of this mansion, these villas, and these palaces of the Pasha and the Pay and everybody who was living in this area. And he changed it into a, a secondary commercial uh, school. Then he became a businessman as the same businessman, corrupt businessman that we can see them on the television nowadays on in the 60s and the 70s. The second sign of corruption that we can see <coughs> after Abdel Nasser abolished all the political parties, there was in our area <coughs> a, a, a palace called the Ishawi Basha Zaid Palace. This is about nearly five, six thousand square meter and on four corners and between the day and night of one day we found that the palace is gone, demolished, uh, removed and they built uh, another commercial secondary school. It was a trend that Abdel Nasser was trying to replace or to have a parallel system to the state education system by actually the commercial and actually the skills and training, the other training, uh, uh, vocational training system. And uh, we, didn't, we don't know have they bought this uh, palace from Isa wa Basha Zaid? Have they bought the villa which was given to uh, Musalhi uh, Khalil at the time from the owners or what? Many, many uh, 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 palaces and many uh, villas and many mansions in al converted into uh, by, 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 by this way. The last but not least is uh, at that time in Egypt there was something called jud uh, Islamic Judicial uh, system and the Islamic courts. And in Al Halmiya and the place called Birkat al Fil, there was a huge building and a huge piece of land as a garden was the headquarter of the uh, Islamic judiciary courts in this Al Halmiya. And we found between a day and night, and uh, uh, all of a sudden this had been destroyed and demolished and became like all this actually. Uh, a residential place to the low social class people. Uh, Abdel Nasser uh, at that time wanted to bring a circular non-Islamic system, could be socialist, could be communist, could be whatever you call it, but he did not want Islam to stay behind. 
When we look at the three incidents, the election of this young man, and, uh, the election of the 50s uh, and electing this young man who took the palace and make it to the secondary commercial school and the palace of Isa Basha Zaid and the demolishing or abolishing the Islamic judiciary system, we find that Abu Nasr has the vision to secularize uh, the, the system uh, in Egypt and uh, manipulize and monopolize because he changed uh, the political party system from multi-party system into a mono system where actually one political party will be only uh, ruling the country in 53, 57 and 1962. Thank you very much for watching the video and I wish that you can press the notification bell and actually share the video with your friends.